fuck? <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to my Dev Crew loadout video. Alright, first I'll go over the gun and then I'll go from my head and move down. This is an HK416 by D-Boys. Uh, I've painted it my, uh, myself, I did the stencil kit myself as well. Um, from the front here I have an AAC suppressor, the quick detached one. Uh, here I have a uh, fake PEQ box uh, just for the looks. Here I have a vertical grip. I use Emacs in this gun. Here I have a hollow sight, I got it shut out um, yesterday actually when I was playing at my CQB field. And here is a Mac Plus GTR stock. Uh, I've done a lot of mod modifications to this internally as well. The sling that's holding this gun is a um, fly, um, one point sling. I've uh, made to a two, two point sling with a coyote two point sling. So it's my own modified sling, you can, you can say. As you can see, here's my helmet setup. Uh, this is a uh, Fast Ops Ballistics helmet. It's the Emerson, Emerson a replica, so it's not a real one. It's in Desert Digital. I have patches on e each side here. Um, on the front here, I have the GP and VG18s made by FMA. I think they look pretty cool. Um, and the thing that's holding this is the FMA L4 G24 mount. Uh, so, yeah, it works decent. It's a bit heavier for my head, I would say. Uh, front heavy, even though I have the battery pack on the back. It's still a bit front heavy, but uh, I can live with it because uh, they look pretty cool. So, it'll even out some way. Here I have a contour roll camera mounted to the side by on the Arcarellas here. And back here I have the battery box for the GPM G18s and here is a uh, mana strobe light. The plate carrier I'm wearing is the Fly 6094A um, in AOR1. It's really cool. Uh, I have the kangaroo insert on the front here where I have uh, three uh, Emacs for my gun. Um, up here I have a multi-cam admin pouch where I have my mag light and uh, a US patch here and a map. Uh, on this side here you can see I have a hydro tube. When I move to the back you can not you can't see my camelback but that's because I have um, modified it so it'll go into the same room where I wear the plates um, so I don't have to wear a lot of pouches on me. And it works great, and I have the idea from Mark Owen. If you don't know who it is, it's the guy that was on the Bin Laden mission and he wrote the book, No Easy Day. That's actually pretty much everything for the front here. Uh, first I'll tell you what's on the back, and then I'll turn around. Uh, also, I need to mention, I don't have anything on the sides here. Um, maybe I will in the future, I can't tell, but for now, I don't have anything on the sides. The bag is pretty plain. Uh, all the thing, the only thing I have on the bag is a small or medium-sized utility pouch in multicam, where I have standard things like um, BBs and CO2 cartridges and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'll move to uh, turn around. Uh, the combat shirt I'm wearing is the Emerson short sleeve version. I cut off about a quarter of an inch of it just so it would look a bit more frayed. The gloves I have here are mechanics gloves. I love mechanics and um, I could recommend these gloves to anybody. If I need to go a bit more light uh, or I need to have a backpack on or anything like that, I have this um, uh, 1961 uh, uh, chest rig. It's really good. I this one is the LBT version, and I just love it. <laughs> Moving down to my belt light, I keep this pretty simple as well, at least for now. 
because all of this is just at least for now. I have an OD Raiders belt here. Um, we're on a half uh, my Glock 17 and its holster here. And here I have a uh, OD lanyard. Uh, this is the patch. It's uh, the AOR1 Emerson pants. Um, in this front pocket here, I have a energy gel and uh, some candy just because it's, not, it's nice to have on the field. I don't have anything in this pouch here, but sometimes I'll have a compass in here. Um, on this side here, I have a first aid kit and stuff like that. Um, not like I need it or anything, but uh, it's nice to have anyway. Uh, plus it's an impression, so I'll probably need it. Um, and in this pocket here, I have my survival kit. Uh, for instance, I have the uh, Barrett Rills uh, mini survival kit and a lot of other stuff that I'll probably be needing for a survival. And both the survival kit and the first aid kit is packed in waterproof, so no water will go in. As you can see, um, this is the version with the integrated knee pads. I took out the knee pad on this side uh, because I feel it's more comfortable just having it in one because they are more comfortable wearing with knee pads in than if you had standard knee pads uh, plugged onto your knee. Um, but they are still not as comfortable as not wearing any. And when I'm crouching, I'm only crouching on my uh, right knee, so I don't need it on my left knee. The boots I wear are the Salomon Conquest boots. Uh, they are really comfortable and lightweight. Um, and I could uh, recommend these boots to anybody. They are really nice. Clear! Alright, that was my loadout video. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and uh, subscribe to my channel if you uh, would like to see more of this, maybe, or yeah. If you have any questions about anything, uh, please comment in the section below. Um, also, if you think that uh, any way I could improve on my videos, then please uh, send me a personal message and I'll see if what I can do about it. So yeah, bye guys.